How's it going, Gertz? <laughs> Gertz? 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 We're back. It's time to do some web development. Today, I'm going to take on the ultimate gauntlet as a web developer. It's the LinkedIn front-end web development test. I've actually had a request to do this video, so I'm going to honor that request today. If you watched my last LinkedIn test, you'll know that I got in the top 5% of all people that have ever taken it. So I expect nothing less than that for myself today. If we do achieve the goal, we've got the payoff, the macaroons, the big chop macaroons. If we don't achieve the payoff, um, I'm not going to eat anything today. So basically that's not an option. If you don't know how to get to the skills test on LinkedIn, follow me here. We. Uh, We've arrived on my LinkedIn this time. Last time I didn't do it on my own. Regret that. And I'm going to scroll down to skills and endorsements. Take skills quiz. And I'm going to hit search. And I'm going to type front end development. And there it is. 15 questions, 1.5 minutes per question. You need to be in the top 30% to get any badge at all. And we've got a little practice here, but like last time, we're not gonna mess about with that. Psych yourself up for the ultimate web development gauntlet. We're gonna hit start. Now! You've created a box that has a height set with CSS. Which line of CSS would add scroll bars? But leave no visible scroll. Overflow, auto. What might an empty alt attribute be the correct? I oh, know when might an empty alt attribute be the correct value. It's all about that decorative image. Next, blank moves an element completely out of the page's normal layout flow, like it is sitting on its own separate layer. And then you can fix blah 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 relative to the edge of the page's HTML or nearest positioned out element. It's got to be absolute. Which choice does not provide information on browser support? Spec. The spec just tells you how it should be. Which array method should you run to apply a function for every item within an array returning an array of items for which the function is true? Filter. Which choice is not a result of invoking strict mode? It doesn't do anything to HTML and CSS, don't even have to read the others. Which description correctly describes the initial values of flex if the only thing you, you have done is apply display flex? Item displayed in a column lined up at the start and do not stretch. I'm going to say it's that one. Do not stretch. Displayed in a row. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, row. Lined up, in a, lined up at the start and do not stretch. Line up at the start and stretch. Yeah, they're in a row, not a column. Nearly made a mistake there. Which HTML is not considered a landmark element? This is to do with accelerability. <laughs> Accessibility, uh, UL, and all the rest of them give some kind of in indication of what they are. The web page has rel pre connect added to a link resource. What will this do? Tell the browser that every resource is added. Pretty sure it's that one. It could very well be that one. Connection. I'm pretty sure pre-connect is about the connection. You've got the words there. You've got your English language words that help you. Which line of code, if applied to all flex, then will cause each flex item to take up an equal share of the total width of the container? That fire and they get 25% initial. No, nope. obviously we just figured out that that wouldn't happen. Grow, shrink, and then basis. Grow, and then they can't shrink, and then basis. Grow, and then zero. Hmm. I'd say it's between these two. Grow, shrink, auto, grow. Don't shrink, auto. I'm gonna go with that one. Full flexibility. 
which HTML element represents either a scalar within an unknown range? Well, give away, it's a range. You have a set of images that are slightly different sizes and aspect ratio. You don't mind if you crop off some of the image, but you want each image to completely fill a square box without being as denoted. Cover, yeah. If anyone's used background images, you'll know that cover is the one. Contain just makes it spread to the width and then it won't cover the height. Not actually sure about the others. All in stretch. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to distort it. Which choice is not a render blocking resource? Well, it depends how you attach it to the page, doesn't it? Like obviously inline CSS is blocking, but if you put it in a style sheet, make it async, it's not. Same with JavaScript. Images, HTML. I'm going to say images because they obviously render after the page is loaded. Yeah, it's got the images. A video on your web page does not display in the console shows an error about mixed content. Uh, it's HTTPS. The page is loaded via HTTPS, but the video is being served insecurely. Yeah, boom. That's the one. Variables declared with the let keyword have what type of scope? Block. Block scope. Let's see if I've done what I set out to do. Woo -hoo! You're in the top 5% of 147,000 people who took this. That means that we are in the GERT society. Go, go, go. And we get the macaroon. I'm actually not really that hungry for a minute, but I'll eat that later. Good job, good job. Um, I'll do open a sound. Was that a good test? Would that indicate someone who knows a lot about web development? I'd say, I'd say it's not bad. If they take it without preparation, and they do all right, it, it does, sort of spread the whole it's got a good girth of, of questions across like a few different areas you know it's not just javascript it's not just css you know even asked me that question about resource origins that's good and a bit of accessibility so guts don't forget to like and <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing me do any more of these let me know uh, you know, we'll, we'll be back. Actually, that macaroon did hit the spot. I'm, I'm going to go put my feet up now.